हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक यू ऑल टू अ न्यू वीडियो माय नेम इज अभिषेक यू आर वाचिंग बी कोडर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ टू कन्वर्ट एस टी एम एल टेक्सट इन टू पी डी एफ फाइल बाई यूजिंग अ लाइब्रेरी सो हेयर यू कैन सी आई एम राइटिंग हाउ टू कन्वर्ट टेक्सट इन टू पी डी एफ फाइल इन दिस इनपुट एंड क्लिकिंग ऑन कन्वर्ट टू पी डी एफ एंड हेयर यू कैन सी दी टेक्सट इज प्रिंटेड इन साइड दी पी डी एफ फाइल एंड दिस इज अ टेक्सट एरिया सो यू कैन एक्सपेंड इट हेयर एम राइटिंग वन मोर लाइन यू आर वॉचिंग दिस अमेजिंग वीडियो ओनली ऑन बी कोडर एंड आई विल क्लिक ऑन कन्वर्ट टू पी डी एफ एंड अगेन यू विल सी यू आर वॉचिंग दिस अमेजिंग वीडियो ऑन ओनली ऑन बी कोडर सो दी टेक्सट वट एवर यू आर राइटिंग इज कमिंग इन दी पी डी एफ फाइल सो लेट सी हाउ टू डू दिस So here I have created the folder and there index and CSS file is present and in the comment I have commented a link so this is the library which we will use so in the head tag in the title I am writing PDF converter simply and this is the link means this is the library JS PDF which we will use so in the script tag and in the script tag SRC I will paste that link so simply you have to paste that link it will be in the description box and after pasting that link first we will give the elements so basically two elements two tags we will use only text area and a button so in the text area id i am giving input and then this column and row i will delete this this column and row and simply i will give placeholder convert to text so text area is basically you can expand it according to your, the width what you need so that's why we are using text area instead of input tag so in the type i will give text after that we will give button and inside that text we will give convert to pdf and and after that in the button i will give on click and i will give give a function generate pdf so this generate pdf we will declare this one we will define this function in the script tag so here in this script tag we will write the javascript code so before that we will write the css so i am linking the css file and in the body so in the body i am giving background black height display flex align item center justify content center and flex direction column after that in the in the text area i am giving height 200 pixel border 5 pixel white color box shadow white color border radius 10 pixel margin bottom outline padding and background color and font family and letter spacing and word spacing so letter spacing is basically distance between the two letters and word spacing distance between two words so here you can see this is our text area so initially it is taking some space that's why the placeholder is not coming so we will remove this here text area now it is okay after that i'm writing text area placeholder i'm changing the color of placeholder little bit so here you can see this is a text area so you can expand it and then we will style the button padding i am giving background color color white border none border radius so this is the styling then cursor pointer i will give after that i will give then i will give a transition 0.2 seconds linear and then when we will hover this button then we will just scale this so for that i am writing transform scale 1.1 so when you will hover then it will zoom little bit so now our styling part is completed so here we will define the generate pdf function here in the script tag so here i am writing function generate pdf and there i will declare a variable where pdf where pdf equals to new and this is the link which we have given the library js pdf so to initialize that we have to write new js pdf function and then whatever the text you need to add in the pdf pdf dot text function is there then like that you can add so before that i am creating one other variable input and whatever the text we will write in the text area that we will store in the input so document dot get element by id input dot value so like this we will store whatever the text we will write and then we will pass this text into pdf dot text function and then comma and 20 and 30 i am writing so this is the margin from top and uh, left and top first thing is initialize pdf like new js pdf then the text whatever you need pdf dot text function is there you have to write and at the last you have to write pdf dot save so this is the file name like whatever the name you need when it will save then b coder name it will come so the file name will be b coder and here i am writing my name is fsec now you can see the file name is b coder and pdf is printed so this text we have written inside the in text area and it is coming in the pdf so in the next line if you want to add something you are watching b coder and you will open this then you can see the next text is also coming so this is printing the single file and this 20 and 30 is the margin from left and top so if you will increase like 120 this value and you will write any text then you will 
you see it will take margin from the left side more margin like here you can see so that this is the variable x and y from left and top margin so if you want to change the file name so here you can change now if you want to add a new file like here i am printing single page pdf so here you can see in this page in this pdf only one page is present but what if i add i want to add a new page so for that i am writing pdf dot add page and then pdf dot so pdf dot text second page and again margin and top margin and left margin so first page i am writing convert so it is not converting so here we have missed the pdf dot text function so now i will write first page and then here you can see this is the first page and it is containing second page also so in the second page second page we have given the string that is coming so in this way you can convert any html text whatever you will write in the input box in the into a pdf file and if you enjoyed this video then please hit that like and subscribe button and see you in next video with any another interesting topic